Hello friends, welcome back to School Management System in Laravel. Last video I will show you how to make a validation in a add new students. In this video I will explain how to create a edit function for the students. So let's create a new routes for the edits and we can make all the information whatever we are add here. So this one's edits. So let's click on the edit and make a edit file. So let's go to insights, resources, routes, inside student, inside list.blade.php. Let's zoom out. Okay, I think it's better. I already created one routes, edit. So let's go to web.blade.php and check. This is the route already created, not created. So suppose not created, so we can create. Okay, right now it's still not created. Just copy and put here and just here to change to add to edit and also pass here parameter ID. Here you can do update. Here you can pass like update or you will done. Okay, now you can go to student controller. Inside you can type like edit functions. I just go back and I just type here because I already open student controller PHP functions edits ID and just go up and just copy the add function code and put inside edit function so class we need also need to do edit students and we need to find all the records about the students. so get records and the class model to we need to change to users let's open user controller just i use the go to so you can see it we already did one function before get single i just put here get single and i put inside ID. let's make a one condition is not empty so going to inside otherwise you can show for zero for error it's about else cut inside showing the error for zero for okay now we change change to add to edit so we can create a one edit file inside student.blade.php so let's go to click on new files and save edit.blade.php now we just need to go add blade.php just control a control c and paste here inside edit.blade.php control v okay now just change the name to edit student and let's refresh the page how it looks so just to press the base and after click on the edit button so let's change only for this record i click on the edit so you can see the add new students so let's go to change edit but i will not save this file so i can change so it's working edit.blade.php now i can refresh so you can see edit students now we can show all the autofill information whatever we have did okay so edit the blade.php inside just go we have already all the record found inside here get record just copy this variable name and just comma because we need a whatever you write this word we need inside validation this is i'm using old after comma whatever will be there inside database so we can pass here like a name so just to make sure name let's say and refresh so we can see it's working not working okay i refresh now so you can see it first name is um, let's make a last name also same here so last name let's make all after i can refresh it and i can show you addition numbers so make a whole numbers and as class so just you can pass here common inside class id same with genders just pass here gender and also you can go inside downs just pass your date of birth same as other fields let's make a very quick 
copy attributes since they start reporting in Google. Profit pick not like this one, we just need to show bottom images. So let's sort out other fields after we can make a profile pick. We are going to so we are going to same like a heights. So here's the heights. Okay, let's same thing inside we can do weight. So here's the weights. Also, we can make inside status. So, status also you can make here. So, just change to wait to status. status. Also, we can make a email. Just make here. And so, what you need to change is image. So, you can change. And here, you can remove the required fields. And just make this. Tab. Now, just you can type with text and title at the bottom column. We are all did inside the admin side. Just try to go to admin. Blender PSP and said admin side and here just copy these words and put in. Do you want to change password? So please add new password. Okay, let's go to and replace the files. So you can see it's all the fields auto fields. Right, you can see. So let's make a click on the submit button. Let's change to submit to update. Now I'll refresh. And I click on the update function so all the information need to update to student level like 40 one for so let's do one by one click on the updates so the updates so let's create a update function because we already write update because added dot blend dot php inside you can see it here is the action is the null so same URL you can use so the post is equal to same URL as a get but is a post so because we over right here is a method is equal to post so i just make here functions updates so first in id here the request dollar request okay now just copy all things like add time you edit and put here just write to the student view update and here we don't need a this one user type because we know which user type and here you can make like it it's not empty you need to show otherwise you need to show means not need to show not show just add a new password because this is not empty so these people have some password here is also profile pick code so you can create a new profile and here is a validation but here we need to make a validation about the this is the already user added email address we don't need to Verify, verify, just need to verify other emails. So just go to admin controller and inside just copy this line and put here. Then email verify comma emails instead of the pass ID. So this is the email address now to verify the same ID by suppose I will change ID like 14 email address. So we don't need to check 14, just check other email. So you're already there, not there. Okay. So now I think everything is clear. And here they change to that single because we don't need to create a new students here the update student code so i write here update student code here okay let's try is working not working just refresh the page oh sorry i made mistakes go back and refresh the page taking time so something error the syntax error unexpected because we have not add a comma here in email will be in time just add a comma after you can refresh again please so you can see it's working very well let's just click on the update file update function so it's working not working we can check okay to done successfully updated but we have not changed anything so let's make like one one year and also we can make here like a like this we can make like this Click on the update so you can see height must be not greater than and weight must be because validation working very well suppose i can make like at the gmail.com here emails that's not 
proper way. Click on the updates. So you can see also the email already has been taken, which also showing the same as old one. Okay, I don't know why it's blood not showing. Let's go back and check. Inside edit the blood of PHP. I already have blood groups, so let's make air times blood groups is the not work. Okay, working very well, so no issue. Let's make a refresh the page. Let's make a 042. Save. Let's go back again. It checks the blood groups there, not there. Okay, blood group not there, but let's go to database. And I can check. Here they are 042, so I think some spelling mistakes. Let's go to back then. Add blood group PHP. Here should be get records. Blood group. Oh, we have written wrong way, like insert first view. Right? We don't need to write insert first, we just need to write insert full. So let's go to and refresh. Okay, so also showing the blood groups. So update function, let's update function very working very well. So let's show you the profile pics, whatever I uploaded. So go to user controller, insert create a new function, functions get profile. It's the shortcut function, which is the unit to learn. This is a good for you. So, don't have this. Profile. Pick is equal to not empty. And, and file exist. Load inside profile. Because we are uploading file here. Profile pick. So, that here and else return is equal to zero and also return is equal to url then we copy above and put here by attack upload profile because we are uploading the files inside uh, uploads profiles you can see okay let's upload one file here first because we have not uploaded before file inside these students so just your file like uh, let's upload this man and I save let's click on the update function so students fully updated I click on the edits so let's show in the water profile we uploaded we are showing but is making some page but we need to show so this page always need okay edit blade.php inside going to profile profile where is the profile gender cast roll number here showing the profile picks okay Let's let's see if is not empty. Empty. Get reports. Get profile. So going to inside IMG. And this is the function that we have found the URL. So just put here. And you can type your styles width is equal to 100 pixels. And let's save the file and refresh the files. So you can see here profile pic found because we have already uploaded. Let's go to back again and check other one. So here's we did before. So let's try this one, student. So here not uploaded, so not showing. You see another information also here not there. So you can see it here. Okay. Now you can see the name you do this is the view did inside data began to this is not the information, but this is the view did using adding student wise. So it's all information there. So in this video I will explain how to make a add students. And let's make a, another one. Like I suppose this is the profile I upload another profile. So we need to remove the old profile. So let's make a here one function if is the edit update function inside if dollar two done get let's go to edit and just copy this function get profile it's not empty if it's not empty so we'll be inserts and get make an unlink which one unlink need upload profile so just go to here and just copy and put in here 
going to end it. So this is the old profile removed, new profile added. So our database is the same, but our file store is going to smaller because we don't need to need a like old data. So old data I am removing. Like uh, suppose this is the profile I need to remove. Once I will upload new one. So this is the uploading submit updates. So, so you see under find profile pic so what is the okay there are this because we need to change the words to profile pic to student here so now i will edit and i will upload another profile like this man i don't the updates so you can see it's working very well it's no issue and also the old one removed let's show you the old one remove work not work okay so i go to my projects one minute this is my i already opened school dot com project set i go to uploads uploading set of profiles so here showing the fourth items i will upload another item here so one this man here is multiple men but one man is removed and another profile found so let's upload this this lady i click on the updates so i go back so you can see it's one man removed and new man means this is the female is found here so is a deleting function working very well so no issue okay so how to edit the students i already show you we can make a proper way so you can see let's make some height is fixed we don't need to make like big heights so just aesthetic elements and here you can do it like your height 50 years and here is photo here 50 px like this so this is the auto you can mix automatic adjust the size change dance let's refresh now close this element using f brand okay so in this video i have explained how to make added students so you can edit the students and you can fill the information which we have made a validations and uh, everything i can i think done so next video we can make like delete functions and also we can try to make a filtering so you can search and also you can show here all the data so do you want to like this video so please like our channel do you need to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel thank you for watching